Hi, Hi fellow birdies. birdies. Welcome back to another edition of Slumber's Eating Show. Today, my husband is back with me, and we are collaborating with two wonderful sisters, Erin and Lena. They reached out to me about a month ago, but there's been a lot of like mishaps and stuff, but we are finally down today to do a mukbang with them. Please check out these ladies. They are wonderful, cute, and funny, and they make all like, kinds of videos. I can't even talk today. <laughs> By checking out the link to their channel and video in the description box below. Show them some love and please subscribe. Now today we are collaborating with pizza. Now I don't know what kind of pizza they got, but we decided to bake our own that we got from Aldi. This is a mac and cheese pizza on a thin crust. Now we recently did this for an ASMR video and it was pretty good, if I say so myself. <laughs> and we have some mozzarella sticks on the side. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see that. And today, we are gonna be playing a question game, Would You Rather? <laughs> now we got some funny questions and also some not so funny questions, but first, let's eat. <laughs> I like this out. So, we got some cheese sauce on the side. <laughs> Ooh, good. Love the cheese pull. <laughs> Definitely worth the volume. Mm -hmm. Now, the first question I think I'll go. Would you rather have edible spaghetti hair that regrows every night or sweat maple syrup? Edible spaghetti hair. Because for one, I would not be balding. <laughs> and for two, I don't like being sticky. So it's a double win. Well, I thought you liked maple syrup. Doesn't mean I like, you know, my hands feeling being sticky all day. True. <laughs> Would you rather be unable to move your body every time it rains or not be able to stop moving while the sun is out? Hmm. I'd like to be able to move my body, but then again, I do like rain. So that's a hard decision. Like... It's kind of like asking if I want to be paralyzed or not paralyzed. That's not really a hard decision, sweetie. <laughs> okay. I don't want to be paralyzed. <laughs> so, my turn. Would you rather lose the ability to read or the ability to speak? The ability to speak. Why so? I love reading so much. Mm-hmm. The thought of not being able to read or write, because you can't write if you can't read really well, would just horrify me. Yeah, I mean, I like reading myself, I guess, but I kind of like talking a lot, so I kind of like rather lose the ability to read. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see your turn. Would, would you it? rather always be 10 minutes late or 20 minutes early? Of course, early, because, like, if I'm late for an appointment or something, like, what if they cancel it? So, for me, I always try to be early, but when we tend to go somewhere, you kind of make us late. No, no, no. <laughs> we shouldn't, you know, make it clear that it's my fault for that. <laughs> But one person I was always kind of late was my dad. Like growing up, we would always be late for doctor's appointments and such because he'd leave the house right when the appointment is supposed to be happening. I will. Yeah, I'd rather be 20 minutes early because then I can do stuff during that time. Mm hmm. That might have been different like 20 years ago, though, but still. Yeah, I think it was. Your turn. Okay. Would you rather know the history of every object you touched or be able to talk to animals? History. I mean, we were they would never shut up. <laughs> Whereas knowing everything you know that I touch would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Does it count if I uh, do people count as objects in that case? Because they actually like touch you and know all your histories. <laughs> I don't know if you like that ability because um, I like family history and stuff. I like to know the history of an object. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Would you rather wear a wedding dress every single day or a bathing suit every single day? Do tell. Um, 
Um. <laughs> This is kind of like embarrassing because he you loves chose. seeing me in dresses. You chose the question, dear. Okay. A wedding dress. Because I'm just kind of like a little bit, you know, I still have some self image issues, I guess, and kind of like I'm afraid to show off too much. So, but I love dresses because they're pretty and all that. So I would always have to choose dress. And he loves to mean dresses more anyway. <laughs> Let's see, my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Would you rather have to fart loudly every time you have a serious conversation or have to burp after every kiss? <laughs> burp after every kiss. <laughs> Heck, I can do it on command anyway. <laughs> For me, I'd rather fart. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't have two right now. <laughs> Would you rather be a practicing doctor or a medical researcher? Hmm. Probably like a researcher because like I said, I love researching my family history and stuff. And like, being a doctor would definitely require a lot of serious work. I'd rather stay like behind the lines, I guess, and sort of like, you know, just like research. But I'd rather be helping them, I guess. It'd be a tough one either way for me. Like, on the one hand, if you're a doctor, you can help people now. Mm -hmm. And if you're a researcher, you can help people in the future. Right. You should probably catch up. <laughs> yeah, she's eating too fast again. Sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Hmm. Would you rather live without the internet or live without AC and heating? That's a tough one. <laughs> I'd rather live without... Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. AC and heating, I think. Why so? Because you're an internet addict? <clears throat> because I like <laughs> having the world's knowledge at my fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate having to, like, move around, uh, you know, in certain time climates. <laughs> Your turn. Would you rather be an amazing painter or a brilliant mathematician? Hmm. That is a tough one, because I do want to be better at math, like... Back in the day when I was being homeschooled, first on, um, my favorite subject used to be math. Then the algebra got introduced, and boom, that went away. <laughs> and I started loving history more and stuff. So, I probably couldn't choose the mathematician because I'm not good at math. I would rather be a painter because I love watching, like, Bob Ross. He's that new painter who lived um, decades ago. He passed away now, sadly, but he used to have a show on PBS um, where he would, like, it's just, it's kind of like actually another form of ASMR. Like, uh, a lot of people say his painting was, like, really relaxing. And uh, I love watching people paint to see how the beautiful things they can create. So, I, I like painting. I uh, would usually paint, um, whenever I went to the eating clinics that I was at for a while, I would, would draw and paint. So, yeah. I'd rather be a brilliant mathematician. He's, have, just, he's smart. It's not that. I have no real interest in painting. <laughs> My uh, canvas is in the written word. <laughs> Would you rather have a flying carpet or a car that can drive underwater? Hmm. That's a hard one. Flying carpet, easy. Just because can drive underwater doesn't mean I could survive underwater. Mm-hmm. Plus... Flying is just so much you know, more convenient than going underwater. For me, I'll go ahead and answer this too. I would probably actually rather have the ability to go underwater because I've always wanted to explore like the ocean depths and so forth. Hmm. So, I mean, you can fly any day. <laughs> would you rather be forced to eat only spicy food or incredibly bland flu food? Oh, this one's going to be Easy. Bland. 
spicy. Simply because I cannot handle spicy food too well. It's like, amazing. unless I have a lot of cheese on my fire noodles, I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> spicy. I like spicy foods. <laughs> like, didn't you use a lot of that Diablo sauce yesterday on Taco Bell? Unfortunately, I couldn't because, yeah. So, but there was so much to eat that I didn't have time to, like, put, you know, the hot sauce in each bite. He just eats a ton of Diablo sauce, guys. He can handle the spice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you rather fart really loud or poop your pants silently? <laughs> fart really loud. I have a question. <laughs> For me? You know me. I would rather fart. <laughs> Well, the question is, would you rather? Yeah. I'd uh, rather fart. Last question. Would you rather have to get up at dawn or stay up till 3 a.m. every day? Hmm. Well, knowing the person I am, I always should go to bed early. I'd rather get up at dawn so I could have a little while to myself before the boys get up. What about you? I think you'd rather stay up late. I'd rather get up at dawn, too. Huh? The problem isn't that I don't, I don't want to get up early, go to bed early. The problem is I fail to. Mm-hmm. Which bothers me. Right. Lately, we've been going to bed about midnight. Mm. <laughs> Not getting up till 6, 7 in the morning. <laughs> For me, it's most likely 7. I actually used to get up at 5 a.m., but I stopped doing it because I wouldn't get them to sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good pizza. And cheese sauce. Mm-hmm. And mozzarella sticks. Mm -hmm. All of it was good, really. It was cheesy. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you all enjoyed these silly little questions and answering them and talking about stuff and finding out more about us. We might do more of these in the future if it's a big hit because it's just as really as fun as Never Have I Ever, isn't it? But if you haven't already, please click the red button down below to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to receive notifications. And also, please check out Aaron and Lena's channel. They're wonderful girls, sisters, and I cannot wait to see what they come up with for their video. So please check them out and show them the love and support they deserve. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for them too. Right on. <laughs> anyway, this is Crystal and... Hmm, Charles. <laughs> Sunny off. Bye, birdies. <laughs>